And here we are for the final Momir match that I'm recording of the day. That's that's you know send him a little good luck. Once again, we win win the die roll. Once again, actually, oh wait, he chooses to play last. Wow. Okay. Um, I would not like to mulligan. Yeah. So you should be on the play. Like the play is considerably more powerful because you get to start casting your eight drops sooner. Which means this guy could very likely be trying to some other po uh, strategy, which is not make any early drops um, and go straight for the big game. Or he likes being on the play, which is always a possibility. I guess he just likes being or likes being on the draw. Sorry. <laughs> Hold up one sec. I have to say, how many goblins are you? Hiding in your deck? Question mark. Yay! I will never know. <laughs> ah, I love it when people have a sense of humor. Plus five points to you, Locklear888. Plus five points to you, indeed. Discard our forest. That's actually not a bad one. Just because it's going to be defensive in the early stages of the game. I mean, later on it's pretty useless, but oftentimes your three drops and such are useless. No creature died. You don't get a 2 2 token because you didn't attack first. Ha 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 ha. We get to make our four drop. We make it pre combat in case uh, it has haste. Discard the planes because the planes is less useful in the forests. Plus three, plus three when it deals. Oh, all the specters are good. Let's just go with that. If he doesn't have a flyer, this thing is gonna start beating in, and eventually it's gonna just be a five-five, just because of how Momir is. Yay! Oh, he has his own method of discarding cards. But it costs him his turn, which is relevant. So now we'll make our 5 drop. Nah, I don't want to do it pre-combat because I want to make sure that I get value. In case you get, like, destroy target creature with flying, right? Let's get our value. Make him discard a card. Then we make our 5 drop. Discarding probably uh, our mountain. Sacrifice unless you sacrifice three forests. Well, I, I I choose sacrifice. It went away. How big was it anyway? Is it like an eight eight? Yeah, it was an eight eight. Okay, so he could make us discard a card, or he can make a five drop. He's gonna make a five drop. Target creature with power five or greater greens. Trample. You choose to attack with stuff. We just block. Yep. So our specter gets to get in again. Swamps are more more important. So I'll play the swamp. Let's you know beat in. Make him discard another card. This is actually really huge in this format since you have to discard a land anytime you want to use Momir. Um, it's pretty big. I'm going to discard my island. Protection from all colors. Protection from artifacts. So we got a 4-4 four, four that's never, ever, ever going to die. I don't know whether or not I'll attack with it. Probably not. We got a 5-4 that can only block creatures with flying. Okay. So, not even our gold dress specter gets in, unfortunately. Well, I mean, we could. Yeah, attack. Aww. Aww. You're supposed to attack. Uh, let's make our seven. If we get phage, that would suck, but that's part of Momir. If you have no cards in hand, each opponent loses two life. That opponent. Okay, so... 
Wow, yeah. This is actually nuts. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have no cards in hand, each opponent loses two life. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if they have no cards in hand, they lose two life. So basically, starting next turn, they'd start losing, taking four damage a turn. And he couldn't attack with Klausian because I just leave my Pristine Talent back. So I just sit back, let him um, lose. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. This was an unusually good sequence of events for Momir today. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys want to see more. And uh, I'll be having cube drafts coming up since the, uh, the cube has returned online. Thank you guys for watching.